Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So I want to talk to you guys about what I might be doing in my mobile business and at home practice that other dental hygienists are not doing or they are doing. So what we're doing differently, um, because I'm sure at this point you have started to network with other dental hygienists who have their own business. You might have even talked to me and asked me questions and we're all just sort of like networking, talking. And it's great to hear from as many different business owners as possible, because as with you, we all have our own opinions. We do things this way. We do things that way. But let me tell you some clear things that I definitely seem to be doing differently that I'm going to talk about mobile hygiene first, and then I'll go to my at-home practice. Just a couple things. So for mobile hygiene, the mobile hygienists that I've spoken to, they don't stay a mobile hygienist for very long. And they tell me it's because they couldn't organize their schedule properly where they just couldn't stay to one city. They weren't busy enough staying in their hometown. They didn't want to necessarily travel out to like 20 minutes away or half an hour away to go see other patients. Or they just found that they weren't seeing, they would have to go over like half an hour away for one patient and then come back for their second patient. Then they would go to another patient all the way, like 30 minutes the other way. So they found they it just wasn't worth their time. So what I'm doing differently is I'm seeing patients one city per day, or let's say they're 10 minutes. Cause I live in an area where there's places 10 minutes away. Like it's crazy. Like there's places all around me, which is perfect. So I don't necessarily just go to one city a day, but within 10 minutes, I have no problem doing that. I'm not going to go one hour this way and then come back home in the middle and then go one hour the other way. I'm not going to do that. That's not worth my time. Another thing that I am noticing is other mobile hygienists are either charging too much in my opinion, or too little. So they might be charging a $55 mobile fee and they're wondering why they're not getting patients. Um, patients are telling them they can't afford that mobile fee, especially if it's not covered by insurance. So they're just going to suck it up and not deal with a mobile hygienist. I charge, which I just started charging. So I charge a $20 mobile fee or $25 if I'm an hour away. I'll charge $25 as well if it's a difficult case. Like if I'm going to somebody's home and they insist I see them in the basement. So I have to go down several flights of stairs. If I'm in an apartment building, you know, it's not more difficult, but I have to lug everything like onto my wheelie thing. It's just kind of a pain with the elevator, you know, so I'll charge $25 for that. Um, but I charge, I don't charge too little, I don't think, and I don't charge too much. I was not charging anything at first because I thought I would bring patients in, not charge anything for my mobile fee, try me out. But I realized, you know, traveling is tough. You know, you're in the car a lot, you're lugging equipment, I should be paid for that. So for that mobile hygienist who isn't charging their mobile fee at the end of the day, they might be looking at how much money they're making, how many hours they spent on the road, and they might be going, oh, this just isn't worth it for me. I'm not gonna do mobile anymore. So that's a difference. Another thing is whether it be mobile or my at home practice, I guess it's kind of patients and insurance in general. I am now offering direct billing. I don't mind doing the extra paperwork. It is a lot of paperwork. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, if I didn't have all that paperwork, I, pr I could probably see more patients and make more money. But I do plan to hire somebody someday to help me with that. But a lot of dental hygienists are not offering direct billing. So when they're telling their patient, oh, for a new patient exam, I'm just picking a number, it's going to be $300. Well, that patient's going to look at you like, uh, for what? Um, and they don't really care if you direct bill to their insurance and they only pay the difference. They're fine with that. But if they have to give you $300 cash, they just simply don't want to. I do find they're okay to give the dentist that cash because a lot of dental offices don't direct bill, but they're not okay giving the dental hygienist that. So that's another difference that I do have. I get more patients, I feel, because I do offer direct billing where I talk to other dental hygiene business owners who are still having a hard time keeping their schedule full. They don't offer direct billing. I kind of feel like that's related. Talking about my at-home practice, I don't know a lot of hygienists that have their own at-home practice, to be honest. I just know a couple. And I guess we're not really doing anything differently. Maybe I'm slacking a bit. Those dental hygienists are seeing regular patients at their home. I am not. 
I actually prefer mobile because my at-home practice, I have two dogs. Um, one of my dog barks like a crazy person, um, not the whole time, but for five minutes, I just feel uncomfortable bringing patients in if I don't know them. I see patients in my own home who insist, who really don't want mobile, but I warn them about the dogs first. They're always fine with that. Or my you know, friend's family, I see them in my own home. But I don't have a regular dental office in my own home where patients are coming in and out. So that's what I do do differently. I actually prefer mobile. Um, so there you go, you guys, just some interesting facts for you. Please let me know if there's any questions. I'm so happy to help. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.